Hey everyone, today I'm going to show how I made this table saw workbench for the DeWalt 7491RS table saw. But before we get into the build, I'll show you some of its features. Well I think the main feature is the adjustable height table for the saw. I took inspiration from Mr. Virshak's video, where he builds something similar for his miter saw. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. The adjustable height makes leveling the saw to the table surface really easy and allows me to upgrade to a different saw in the future without building a new table. Maybe I'll just have to make some minor adjustments if I ever upgrade. Another feature is it's easy to move around and once it finds its home, leveling the table to an uneven shop floor is easy with these leveling casters. There's a lot of storage space on the bottom shelf for a vacuum, tools, wood, whatever I want. And the table surface should be able to take damage pretty well. It's constructed with two full sheets of 3 quarter inch birch plywood. Well that's enough and let's get into the video. It all started with a frozen pile of Douglas fir. And after it thawed, it was saturated and it took months to dry. Cause I purchased it in the middle of winter. But it's now dry and ready to plane. And the final dimensions were 3 and 5 8 by 1 and 13 16 This has shown me I need to upgrade my dust collection, but not today. I designed the bench in a program called SketchUp. One of the things I like about SketchUp is it allows me to print out a cut list. It breaks apart the bench into each of their components, along with their measurements. Well, I think a good place to start is the legs. It's two pieces glued together. I'm looking forward to these first cuts because I get to try out a dado blade I just picked up. But in order to use my new blade, I needed to make this throat plate insert first. And if you're wondering why, it's because the throat on the original plate isn't wide enough to accommodate the thickness of the dado stack. I'll just take this time to mention, for any of the products that I use, I'll leave links for them in the description below. So there's one downside with this adjustable table height design. And that is, it removes lateral support from these two front legs. My idea to overcome this is to route in these T-channels on the inside of both legs. Then I'll install hanger bolts with washers to the table. It should keep things nice and snug, and if you stick around, we'll find out together. So in order to keep things nice and square for assembly, I clamped speed squares to the inside of the stretchers. Then with everything under pressure, I'm free to install the lag bolts. Then I just simply repeated the process for the other corners. And for the legs, I clamped two speed squares to the tops of the stretchers, then from the squares to the legs. Thank you. 
And like before, I just repeated the process for the other legs. I'll just mention how glad I am I'm assembling everything on this leveled 4x8 sheet of MDF. Two reasons. One, everything's level. And two, I can rotate the whole assembly. This lets me drill and screw parallel very close to the ground. Otherwise, I'd be drilling at an angle. Now I'm working on the bracing for the floor. The first piece I simply screw to the inside of the legs. For the rest, I'll use a Craig pocket hole tool. And what I found with pocket holes is they tend to drift due to the fact you're screwing at an angle. To try to overcome this, I'll clamp everything very tightly before screwing. Hopefully that way it has nowhere to go. Ah, uh, the noise you're hearing is rain. And it hasn't rained here in like close to three months. So I took a break to check it out. And just as fast as it came, it went. So back to work for me. Then I just drilled, countersunk, then screw down the entire floor. And here's where my design needs to change. I can see light between the straight edge and stretcher. The stretcher's sagging. So if I add another leg here, it should pick up the sag and make everything straight again. Or so I hope. If you're wondering about the tape and cards, it's because I planed that floor bracing too short and I had to make up the difference. So when I lay the flooring sheet down, it'll match the height of the stretcher. So since my floor isn't level, I thought I should install some leveling casters. These can take a lot of weight and they had great reviews. And I do the dance of joy here because the floor is finally going down for good. Or so I think. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, and I can tell because there's no countersink. And as luck is on my side, or not, another problem developed. This knot is toying with my sanity, I think it's taunting me. Anyway, it's now a problem and has created a high spot. I should have grabbed a hand plane to remove it, but I'm not that smart. So I built this sled for my table saw and needless to say, it was a waste of my time. Cause the stretcher was just too long for that sled. So I tried something else and that was to create one very long straight edge. The length of the stretcher fits before and after the blade. This finally seems to get me a straight cut. But really in the end, I did end up with a hand plane in my hands for some finishing touches.
Well, I've had a long day and I'm tired. I'm going to bed. doing here? I don't remember leaving them there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's finally time to see if my hanger bolt idea is going to work. And I found it tricky to line things up, but once I did, I found the tables kind of loose. So I pulled it back up and a few turns with the wrench for tightening to try again. And it's pretty tight. And for all the setbacks that I've had so far, I'm pretty happy right now. Somehow I lost footage of me placing the second layer of plywood to the top. Then I pre-drilled, countersunk, and screwed the two sheets of plywood together from underneath. Well, we're getting close, and I haven't gotten to it yet, but I'll be securing the saw to the table through these holes in the frame with some bolts and washers. I've overcome a lot of issues on this build, and this part was enjoyable. Fine-tuning the saw height using my straight edge and a single sheet of paper. I'm really happy the saw leveled so well to the rest of the bench top. Well, I hope you enjoyed my workbench journey with me. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you're interested in building something like my bench, I'll have the plans available. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the like button, and thanks a lot for watching.